Many Brighton residents rely on facilities like the Brighton Sports Complex for softball and baseball games. Not only will this artificial turf conversion project allow for off-season practices, but it will also save an immense amount of water. A lot of people are a little hesitant at first because they're not used to playing on an artificial turf surface. In December of 2021, City Council approved the turf conversion project at the Brighton Sports Complex and Pulowski Fields. After they play on it a couple times, they're very much enjoying it. It, it gives a, new, a nice true feel. Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions began installing the AstroTurf at the Brighton Sports Complex in January. First, they have to prep the field by removing the old infield mix and grass. And then after that, they'll come back, they'll grade out the existing dirt, they'll put the big, big rock in, and then they'll put some smaller drainage rock, put a drainage layer in, they'll put drains in that'll drain the field, then they'll put pressure fine in, and then on top of that goes the artificial turf, and then on top of the artificial turf is the sand and the rubber to give it that nice feel under your feet. Good, good. The project has progressed significantly. However, the Parks and Recreation Department will be taking a pause from their developments at the Brighton Sports Complex once the third field is complete in order to begin work at the Pulowski Fields. We caught a scheduling break um, from July to late October where there won't be any games going on, so it'll give the contractor the ability to tear up all the fields at once and then replace them all at the same time. Once the project is complete, the City of Brighton will save 10.5 million gallons of water per season due to moving the fields from grass to turf. Obviously with the water situation we have everywhere, um, that's a really big deal for us. They are still on track to complete the project by the beginning of December. For the City of Brighton, I'm Andrea Don Lucas.